I'm so excited for you to watch this video. Before it begins, I wanted to let you know that if you want to take your art skills to the next level, click on the link below and check out my premium courses. Hi everyone, welcome to our perspective lesson. Today's lesson is one point perspective. I'm gonna just show you a really quick little example that we'll draw together. One point perspective is where it looks like everything's kind of coming together at one point, or like our project. Definitely looks like everything's coming together in one point. Perspective is really cool because it gives you an illusion of space. So an illusion means it makes it look like maybe this is block is coming actually out of the paper, but it's not really coming out of the paper, which is kind of cool, it's like a trick. Make, it kind of tricks people's eyes a little bit. And there's some key words I just want to go over. There's a horizon line, that's kind of where the sky meets the earth. A vanishing point, that's where everything looks like it's kind of coming together. And then we have, let's see, well basically one point, which is this point. Two point perspective is a little bit different. And if this makes sense to you when you do it, I would definitely um, try two point perspective and even three point perspective drawings after this. And our final project, we're going to be drawing these exploding cubes or squares where they're just kind of coming out of the center point. If you're more advanced, maybe you could make these into buildings. So it's like Spider-Man looking down and, and jumping over. That's just an option, but it's something that comes to mind when I think about this. And I hope you enjoy this project. Um, let's get started. Grab your ruler and your normal piece of paper and we're just going to draw four boxes using one point perspective. So draw a line across the middle of your paper. This is the horizon line, so kind of where the sky meets the earth. And then we're just gonna drop a vanishing point on there. So this is where everything disappears. And then I want you to draw a square above the line. Let's draw one on the line. And then let's draw one below the line. Okay, and then we'll just draw one above, um, over here too, right above it actually. So you have your four boxes, and now you can either just draw lines back, so you're connecting all of the corners back to the vanishing point, or you can use your ruler to do it. If you want it to look really precise, you can go ahead and just draw a line from each one of those corners back to that vanishing point. So you can do it to all of your squares. And let's, they're cubes now. Let's say they're solid, so we can't see through them. So we're gonna ignore anywhere where the line would go through it, like this corner. Just ignore that one because this is a solid box, like a building, and we can't see it. And again, if you don't have a ruler, you could just kind of try your best to draw a straight line back to the vanishing point. Okay, now we have these boxes. We have one on the horizon line, two above and one below. And now we just get to choose the size of these boxes. So we're just gonna cut them off. So like this one, you could choose if you want it to be really long, you could cut it off back here. And you just wanna keep these two lines parallel and then these two lines parallel. And to tell if it's parallel, it would be like the same distance here as it would be here. That's a little advanced. If that is too advanced for you, just ignore it. We're gonna cut that one off here. That one's pretty easy. I'll thicken up these lines so you can see the actual shapes that we just drew. And this one I'll just cut right there. So see these are parallel. They're both going up and down and we'll just cut the bottom off coming from that corner, keeping these two lines parallel. And then the same thing with this box. So I'm just cutting it off to make it short. You can use your eraser if you wanna erase some of those lines so that you can see the shapes a little bit better. I drew pretty dark. It's kind of hard for me to erase these lines. And the next thing we're going to be doing using this method, I call it the exploding boxes because we're going to be drawing a ton of boxes that are kind of shooting up out of a vanishing point. And we want to do this on watercolor paper or drawing paper if that's all you have. And we are going to be using markers for this. I might just use a black marker to change things up a little bit. So grab your watercolor paper. You do need some water and your round paintbrush for this one. Maybe a paper towel. I like using these two because it stops you from erasing so much, which is good. Okay, put a dot in the middle of your paper 
And now you're going to draw a bunch of squares around your paper. Draw at least five. So you can draw. Some can be tall, some can be long, some can be... So I'm drawing a few more. We'll just stop there maybe. I feel like we should put one over here, why not? All right, now this is the important part. You want to start with the ones that are closest to the box first because some of these lines might go over the other ones. So I'll show you how to handle that. So let's go ahead and start with this one looks closest. So I'm just going to draw lines from all of the corners and this one we can just barely, barely see. And let's go ahead and there's nothing in front of this one so we can just draw lines from those two corners back. Then we're going to come to this one and this one kind of hits into this one so we're just going to stop it. And the same thing with this one. I would say use your ruler for this far one because it's going to go through this box and stop about right there. Now this one, you can again use your ruler if you want to. You're just drawing lines from all of those corners back to the middle and if it runs into another box, you just stop it. Like this one, I probably need my ruler. It's pretty far out there. So I'm just going to take my ruler and then come from all of these corners back into the center. So these are my exploding boxes. And again, you can add as many of these as you would like. Maybe, I feel like this isn't very balanced, so I'm gonna add one right here. That's not very big. But I just feel like we need something. Something to balance out this composition. And again, the nice thing with perspective is that we can create things that look real that are not real. They're just totally from our head. And then maybe should we add one up here? I feel like we should. Or down in here. Yeah, let's do one right there. Okay. When they get far away from the vanishing point, that's where it gets a little bit harder to see where they are. And if, if you're just beginning and this is a little bit complicated, just draw three. You do not need to draw all of these. Just draw three boxes kind of exploding out from this center point right here. We'll call it the vanishing point. Then you want to grab your paintbrush, dip it in your water. Let's move it over so you can see and I have my paper towel. So I like to control how much water I'm using. And let's figure out where we want the shadows to be. Should we have it like really dark down in here and get light as it comes up? So we'll start on this shape right here. Then as soon as I get about halfway, I'm going to rinse my brush off because I want it to get lighter. And then this shape, we're going to do the same thing. And remember, just like we did in the beginning when we used these markers, sometimes our lines might start to get a little bit erased. And so we'll just come back in and add those lines back in and that's totally fine. And if you get too much water on there, just blot your brush up on your paper towel and just, you can soak that water up. So we're trying to make it look like it's shaded inside of here and that it's getting lighter as it's coming towards us. So I'm trying to make sure you stay on your shapes. That's where this gets a little bit tricky. You might not know. And then we'll just add a little bit of shading on this one. On this one. The side of this one. Maybe a little bit here, here and here, just to separate these shapes. So we're just adding some shading to these just for fun. Why not? If you don't have water, if you don't have a marker and you don't have watercolor paper, you could just use crayons to color this in, color pencils. There's so many things you can do. So you can just kind of keep adding shadows until it looks right to you. We would want it just to look like these are going in. Also with the shadows, you kind of want to keep them in the direction of the 
the side that you're on. So like keep it. If we're painting on this side, that shadow should kind of stay along that side. It's flat. I think this one doesn't look very flat, so I'm just gonna make it look a little bit more maybe. And you could even bring your shadows all the way up to the top of these shapes if you want to. Then after it's dry, just go ahead and use your marker to kind of put some of those edges back in. Or not. I think they look cool when they're not so sharp, but. And that's it. Your exploding blocks are done. You could do something cooler. You could add way more than this. This is just kind of a, a really easy example. How did it go? I hope that you enjoyed drawing that. I think perspective is so cool. I remember learning it in fourth grade and it just like blew my mind. It's kind of a mathematical way to draw. Um, you can, and again, some people like to use rulers and some people don't and that's totally fine. I have so many different projects that came into mind when we were doing this. And so you can choose. I'm gonna give you some different ideas. The first one is to try drawing block letters and putting them in one point perspective. The second thing is going to be to make these into buildings, so you can kind of see um, windows on the sides. The third thing is going to be to make a house, draw a house using one point perspective. There's, you could see how these blocks are kind of moving, you can just put the windows on the side, and you just keep your perspective going to that one point. And then the other idea I have for you is to draw like a road scene using one point perspective. So you can find a ton of ideas for those online. But those are just some ideas. But you can do really whatever you want. If you're advanced, try two-point perspective and three-point perspective. Perspective is just a really cool trick for making the illusion of space in your drawings. And I hope you enjoy this one and have a wonderful day.